This is going to be a fun, expressive, creative, step-by-step -step atmospheric watercolour painting based on a cityscape. Let's get started. I'm going to wet my paper now with my large flat brush and I'm using in funnily enough I'm actually using rough paper I don't normally use rough paper for this technique but I thought I'd just give it a go and the paper is 300 grams and I'm just giving it a good soak just put some framing tape around the edge so where I wet the paper I, I wet it top and bottom and I missed out a little gap in the middle there so you it doesn't run so much you get some nice light areas where the paint doesn't sort of run onto the dry surface there so you get some white sort of buildings but you don't lose too much control and I'm just actually just dipped my card into the freshly squeezed paint mostly the ultramarine and the pink but you can use a bit of the quinacridone gold as well and it kind of makes almost a dark brown I'm using the card sideways and it here as well to create vertical marks and just building up the detail here bit by bit just going by my inside stinks experimenting so what I'm doing now is I'm tilting and you can have a little tilt on this and it's running into all the wet surface that I've uh, got here in the reflection and you can tilt sideways just to see what happens it creates some lovely atmospheric effects so I'm just giving a little spritz here because it just to get the paint moving a little. Just don't over spritz with your spritzer bottle because you'll introduce too much water and basically you'll spritz all of your color away. So I'm getting some creamier ultramarine with a touch of pink and painting this kind of damp into wet over the top. You could wait for it to dry if you wanted to as well. It almost looks like the buildings are in fog or they're misty day. I'm sort of printing in the reflections as well. I just really love painting like this because it's just for my imagination you could though get a photograph to inspire you a reference photograph you don't have to copy it but you could use it just to look at the buildings etc if you're doing a skyline like this I love sort of painting buildings in this way and the reflections damp into wet just seeing what happens relying on the watercolor to surprise me and I go with it um, I respond to the marks rather than having preconceived ideas at the beginning. It's a really lovely creative way of working. And remember, this is paint straight from the tubes. So I'm spritzing here some of that tubed paint that I've applied with the plastic card. And I'm using my large brush, painting some blue with a pinch of the brown there, wet into wet at the top of the sky. I love working wet into wet and tilting just to see again what happens. I'm spritzing here getting the paint to move and run down and I'm printing in some vertical marks now still using the ultramarine and the pink I'm spritzing off here to create a touch of light again it's just seeing what happens and I've decided to turn my painting upside down and I really encourage you to do this if you're working in this style you may see something different so I'm just using the bottom of a tube of paint to scratch into the surface of the paper so I'm just spritzing here and there to create some light. I'm also going to be tilting as well to tilt the paint away and I'm going to allow my painting to dry. Um, I'm applying now wet on dry some marks with my card using some Payne's Grey as well. So I felt these were a little bit harsh these marks so I'm using my flat, it's a one and a half inch brush this and I'm wetting the shapes of the building and I'll actually use my card with the freshly squeezed paint and print with the card then it'll be easier just softening some of the marks that I made already as well here and there it's quite nice using a flat brush especially if you're painting buildings it just makes it a lot easier so now I'm using the card and printing some Payne's grey and a touch of ultramarine just varying the heights of the buildings now I've got the wet it makes it easier for the um, paint to go on with the card. Don't forget to paint lower buildings as well. So I'm just using very thin marks as well to create the illusion of the windows for sort of high rise buildings and just building up this sort of semi abstract detail. It's really fun to do. And I would suggest using the back of an old painting to warm up with to try out this technique 
which can really open up your imagination and you can just bring your paintings to life. And it it sort of feels easier to paint buildings using a plastic card or the large flat brush. I'm using this flat, damp, clean brush and just pulling some of those marks down that they can be like reflections. And I'm just tilting my painting and spritzing to get the paint to run down to give the illusion of reflections. And just going back in again with the card using the Payne's Grey Ultramarine just to create some more dark tonal values. So even though this is quite abstract in a way, I'm still following the rules of watercolour, working light to dark, creating more darks and details towards the end as well. And that may help you, even though this is a little bit out there, it still has some structure to it that um, I hope you find is helpful. What I love is all the cranes in London. I just love those marks on the skyline they look amazing. There's always so much building work going on in London. There's always seems to be cranes. So I've gone a little bit mad here. It looks quite industrial, actually. Really like the effect of it. It's fun. It's fun making those marks with the plastic card. So I've squeezed out some white gouache. You can use white watercolour or even white acrylic. And funnily enough, I'm using the bottom of a tube of paint. I quite like just doing that. And I'm just printing this on my dry painting. And it's just to create some lights, especially if you've lost lights. But also this could be late afternoon in the winter, early evening. So it looks like the lights are on on some of the buildings and they've created reflection in the water as well. So I'm just using my plastic card now to print with as well. So I'm just printing away here to create a little bit of sparkle. My only advice is don't go too mad. Remember, less is more. I'm just going to allow my painting to dry once more. Um, I'm just adding some uh, pastels now. I've just got a little box of some artist pastels but you can use any pastels or even oil pastels as well. If you don't have pastels you can use the white paint and mix them with some watercolours. Sometimes though using a Windsor red or a cadmium red or a cadmium yellow just straight from the tube can create this effect as well so don't worry but it's just really to finish off and as you can see in the water I'm just using using my finger to pull down so it looks like reflection. So I've used yellow, or orange, red and white pastels just to bring the painting to life and also it stops me from fiddling as well, not doing any more painting. I love the light behind the buildings there though and the granulation from the ultramarine and that's the sort of texture it creates in the sky there is just lovely. So I'm just finishing off now with these pastels, just a few marks here and there, just, just hold back, not doing too much. And I think I might give a little spatter as well to finish off I'm using a small brush here my size 4 brush using the white gouache and just spattering some white you could actually add a bit of yellow to that as well if you want some a yellow sort of light there but just spattering along the sort of water's edge here and there just to finish off the painting and here is the finished painting a close-up I really enjoyed painting it it's a bit of art therapy for me and I really hope you enjoyed watching and that it inspires you to have a go at painting in this style if you have any questions please put them in the comments section and if you'd like to support the content that I create here on YouTube, why not think about joining my Patreon membership? Details about the membership can be found in the description below, but you will get access to my weekly exclusive tutorials and downloadable outline sketches, and you can cancel anytime. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Happy painting. Bye for now.